spring break may be over, but it doesn't mean that the kids are still going to be looking for activities to do at home. And we are joined in studio today by Alexis Livingston, and she is a DIYer on YouTube, and she has some super fun, super simple, super affordable tips for things that you can do with the kids starting tonight. Welcome, Alexis. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Tell us a little bit about uh, all of the things you're going to be showing us. Is there a common denominator? Uh, well, most of these things you can do with your child, so it's kid-friendly. Uh, with the first project, you just got to be careful that your child's a little older. If they can use an X-Acto knife, they could do this project. Okay, good. So probably you want to supervise. Yeah, definitely want to supervise for the first one. So tell us a little bit about what we have over here, because this is, um, I've never seen this before. What is it exactly? This is a hollowed out book, so we're upcycling a discarded book that I found at the library. So they were just getting rid of it all and I figured why not take it and do mm -hmm. something out of it. You know, everyone wants a little secret book where you can hide money, anything you want in it, so there you go. So this is just a hardcover book that essentially you, did you glue all of the pages together yeah, first I of did. all? So I had to cut each and every single page out and then I just took Mod Podge and I glued every page. So you kind of want to put on Netflix or something and glue <laughs> while you watch. So how, how does the process work? So you take every single page out yeah. and then what do you do? Well, you gotta start from the back and just keep gluing. That's all it is. Keep gluing every single page down. Cutting cutting a square out of every yep, single page correct. you're saying. Okay, yep, so yep. that's time consuming, but it's cool because it's like a secret treasure box. It is, it and, is. And no one will ever find your treasures. Nope, never. Okay, all those secrets I'm hiding. <laughs> Over here, we've got some really cute, uh, I guess, planters. Yeah, so you can use these for di the traditional way, putting a plant in it. But here, I've just put some like pens and pencils and you know things that you can put in your house. Um, right. But you can also put this outside, like I said. But you want to use paint uh, that's weather resistant, so that if it's outside, it doesn't all like melt off. Very smart. Yeah. Um, is the paint? Relatively affordable, would you say? Uh, yeah, I think each one is about two dollars. So you can go wild with that. You can pick different colors, and as you can see, I put rhinestones because this is one that I'd like to put in my house and decorate my room with. Very cute. Do you buy them in the original sort of terracotta color? Then? Yeah, yeah, you do. Okay, so just to show our viewers, we've got one over here. This one is just plain, and I guess I think I've seen these ones. Can't you get these at like the dollar store? Yeah, you can. Super cheap, about two dollars maybe for both of them. So. Wow. So. Oh my God, so nice and easy. Oh, are those pearls too? You've got stick yeah. on pearls. Okay, let me try my hand at this. I'm not sure. Oh, I like that already. <laughs> Very cute, and I guess these, these sort of stick on pearls come in a strip as well. Yeah, so they're easy to apply, and so they're very easy for younger children to do as well. Very, very cute. I love that idea, Alexis. Okay, um, over here you've got this, this super souped up clock, yes, wall so clock. Yeah, so I mean, if you have one lying around, you can either revamp one or go to the dollar store. I picked this one up for like $3, and all I did was glue and throw on glitter. That's it. Really? That's all it takes. So somehow you managed to just remove the face of the clock. Yeah, it's really simple. There's a little glass thing. You just pop it out, and that's it. Okay, so what you have here, I'm just to show our viewers like how simple this is. We've got a little bit of glue, okay? Okay. Are you sure that I can do this? Yeah, just, just smear it on. Smear yep. it on yep. all over the clock. Okay. Oh my goodness, how fun is this for the kids? And I guess you can you can get super personal, right? In terms for of sure. But if you're doing it with younger kids, I would suggest using the chunkier glitter that I've brought in, just because it's easier to clean up and you won't be finding like fine glitter for weeks and weeks to come. So. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure if, if our cameras are getting a shot of that here, but I think that maybe the trick would be to like kind of. Just dump it on. Dump the glitter <laughs> on the whole thing like that. And then eventually, okay, I'm going to make a mess here, but I'm going to do it, okay? Do it. I, my apologies to our directors, <laughs> but this is an idea of what the final wall clock could look like if I were better at gluing. <laughs> it's okay. It takes one or two coats. <laughs> there we go. Okay, what do we have over here? Uh, the next thing we have are coasters, and this is really customizable. You could just print things off the internet, mm -hmm. or as you can see in that one there, oh I've taken gosh. a child's artwork and I just, you know, traced it out and glued it on. So it's that, really easy. That is so super cute. So what do you use as the base of the coaster then? Um, so I bought pre-bought cut uh, like coasters that are cork. You can buy these? Where do you buy these? You can buy them at your local craft store. I bought these specific ones at Michael's. Okay, and then how cute is that? So, you know, it's personalized. You've got the, 
the uh, the kids' artwork on there, and I guess from there on you can just match it to your place. Yeah, just run wild with whatever you like. Wow, very, very, very cute. Okay, and finally we've got like uh, the most creative looking candle holders I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got over here? Okay, so these are really customizable to uh, like the season or the holiday. So right now I've got one that has like flower petals in it for spring. We've got an Easter one. And just to show that we're upcycling, uh, you know, the book from the first project, we put in like scraps of the book and just tied a little bow on top. Tell us what that means when you say upcycling. Well, you know, like there's this whole thing about not cutting books and it was hard to cut the first book up, but right. because it was discarded, I'm taking it and I'm using it for something new rather than just throwing it and recycling it away. Okay, exactly. So you're taking it, uh, recycling it and making it brand new. Yeah, for a new essentially. Use. Okay, so what you've taken, I guess, are um, wine glasses? Correct, yeah, and I use different ones that are different heights and different widths just so that, you know, it gives a variety. And as I you can see, see there's little doing. eggs in that one, so it's like kind of Easter themed. I get it. So essentially, this could be like a cute centerpiece, I guess, for yeah, a, theme, of so, a themed party that you're doing with the kids or yeah, something exactly. like that. And essentially, like we can just see that right there. You've got some, some glitter underneath there, and then you just put it down, throw your candle on top. Very cute. Alexis Livingston, if we're interested in seeing more of your cute DIY projects, where do we have to go? You can go to YouTube slash Alexis Mel TV. Thank you so much for that today. We've got lots more coming up on this St. Patrick's Day Montreal. Hope you're having a wonderful morning.